All right, everybody, it's Brandon again. Welcome to another video. We're testing out another Linux distribution right now that I've never even heard of before. It's called Garuda or something like that Linux. One of you guys tipped me off to this one. Like I said, I never even heard of it, but this is it. This is what it looks like. I got it running in a virtual machine here. And um, this is a crazy one to me. It, uh, I've never seen anything that looks quite like it. As you can see, everything's like semi-transparent. When you move the windows around, they kind of wobble. It's got crazy icons. And the installation process for this was weird too. No, not weird, but once you, uh, once you get it installed, which is very easy, the first time you boot it, it updates, and then it asks you what all software you want to install. And it gives you lists of all the common stuff, and you just click on it and install. So really, like, beginner-friendly in my opinion. And this is the default browser it comes with. It's called Fire Dragon. Never heard of that before. But uh, it seems like a fork of Firefox in some way. And I wanted to check and show you... Uh, let me just search for Garuda. Or go to their website. It, this is how you download it. You go to their site. You go to download. And they got different versions for every kind of desktop environment you might want. And uh, so... I did the default one, which is KDE, and <laughs> but look what they call it. I couldn't even read this at first. Apparently, this says Dragonized. Now, I admit I haven't been cool for like 20 years, if I ever was, so I didn't know what this meant. But apparently, that says Dragonized. Maybe some of you guys knew that. I didn't. Uh, they have a GNOME spin, which looks a little more plain, and XFCE also looks plain. Basically, all of them look pretty standard, except for the uh, default one, which I picked. But So anyway, let's go over some other things here. Here's the file manager. It's Dolphin, obviously, because this is KDE. It kind of has a Mac-like interface, where it puts your menu bar up top here for all your applications. Uh, to open your launcher, you click up here on the little dragon icon, and it's a pretty standard one. You can also get it just by pressing the Windows key and start typing in what you want to look for. Obviously, I'm not going to find anything there. I installed um, LibreOffice with it, which apparently doesn't have a dark mode. Maybe it does. Maybe it's just calc that doesn't. Or maybe you have to turn on the dark mode elsewhere, because it, it kind of looks weird when the rest of the system is dark, but your uh, office isn't. But maybe it makes sense. I mean, a piece of paper is not black, so this makes sense. What else did it come with? It gave the option to um, install Visual Studio Code automatically for me, which I did, which we have here. Anyway, everything just has like the wobbly effect. I don't know how this would run on lower end hardware. If you look at their uh, documentation they give you and this welcome screen, it, they claim it's a rolling release, which means it's always pretty much up to date. They say it's fast, friendly, I guess, as far as a computer can be friendly, performance focused, so maybe it runs good. It's always hard to tell on a virtual machine how good it's going to run on a real device. But so yeah, if uh, you're one of these people that's looking to get away from Windows, you're stuck in the boat where this shiny Windows 11 came out, and your computer can't get it, even though your computer's not that old. Here's another one you might want to look into. We looked at um, Zorin OS, which also looks nice. This one's just a look I've never really seen before in a computer. Personally, it's not my style. I don't know if I like all the darkness of it. I don't need all the flashy effects. Um, I'm a plain guy, and I like a plain computer. And this is a little too, too much for me. But it might be just perfect for you. It might be the type of thing you're looking for. I noticed there's a um, light theme on this, but I don't remember where I saw it or how to get to it. Settings, maybe? Oh, here. Let's see what that looks like. Here's a light. This window didn't refresh. Maybe if I... No. Nope. Uh, for this particular distribution, I think the dark theme looks better. I think it was made for the dark theme. So yeah, once again, this one's called uh, Garuda. 
OS. So if you're looking to test something else out, Garuda is something you might want to give a try to. If there's anything else you want me to look at on Garuda, I can. Oh, this is based on Arch Linux, I should have said. But the entire setup process was easy. It was quick. I didn't have any problems at all. I doubt you would either. And so, yeah, um, that's Garuda. And I appreciate you guys for, you know, letting me know about these things so I can test them out. And if there's any other distributions you want me to look at or anything else you want me to try, just let me know. I'm happy to do it. As you can see, my icons down here kind of got messed up when I changed theme. I imagine if I reboot, they'd go back to normal. But yeah, so that's Garuda OS. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like the video if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, I guess you can dislike it. But do you really want to be mean like that? I don't know. You can subscribe, though. And... That's all I really have for you right now. So thanks for watching, and have a good day.